nigga from the back of the days A lot of niggas switched up, so we had to part ways I'm just trying to catch my cut, in the caddy with Bane I mean the flow was kinda nuts, get the rap in the same I mean you probably would too, if you felt this pain I got the heart of a lion, I mean my chest made of iron What's going on family, it's your one and only Grandmaster Side back at you again On uh, today's topic, Kabbalah, which is known as Jewish mysticism and what you have here is the Sephirot, um, which is uh, comes out of the Zohar or the Sefer Yetzirah. Uh, the Sefer Yetzirah is basically just a book of formations. Um, the word Yetzirah uh, has its origins origins in the Chaldean language uh, from the word Itzirah, which means to form. And um, basically what I want to do is just um, basically just give you a glimpse um, of some basic concepts um, of this tradition. So um, what we have here is Kether, which is the crown, and the sphere of operation is Rashith Ha Gilgalim, the archangel Metatron, and it brings others before the face of God. The order of, of angels is Cleof Ha Kadish, which basically means it's uh, the holy living creatures, right? Kadish means holy. Um, so this is also known as Ain Sof, or the Ain Sof Or, but Ain Sof basically just means no thing because if you're familiar with um, Egyptian, ancient Egyptian uh, natures, it's kind of similar to the noon, the primordial waters. This is the realm of nothing that, that kind of comes down and, and forms itself in a more material, material plane or existence. So in this realm is also known as a heye, a heye. A heye, I share a heye, which is what uh, God told Moses when Moses seen face, to, uh, when Moses seen God face. Um, a heye, I share a heye, which basically just means I am that I am, or being is being. So now we have uh, hachma, which is wisdom. And wisdom of God and wisdom of what man strives to attain um, gives man a chance um, gives man a chance to gain what is normally un unattainable through the power of the intellect. Um, Masloth is the starry heaven, the archangel of this um, energy center is Ratziel, prince of the knowledge and of knowledge of concealed things. The order of angels is Afurium. The will or whirling forces called Curibum. So what we have here is Bina, which is understanding. Oh, and, um, and wisdom is also pertains to um, Yod Hey Vav Hey, which is basically known as uh, what people, some people call Jehovah, um, but it's really uh, a name that nobody knows how to pronounce. So you got the Yod Hey Vav Hey, um, which looks something along these lines. Um, let me see how I do the Yod. The yod is kind of a little comma. The hey. Vav. Vav is kind of like a little boomerang or something. And hey. Yo, hey, Vav, hey. Which is basically pronounced Yahaba Ha Yahaba Yahaba Or some people pronounce the uh, the Vav 
his wife. It could some some traditions pronounce it as a V. Some pronounce uh, traditions pronounce pronounce it as a Y. So it could also be Yahawah. Waha. Yahawa. Yahawa. So why not show you that, right? So um so Hakma, so we have a Heye, Crown, Kether, and we have Wisdom, Hakma, which is Yod Hey Vav Hey, Yahava or Yahawa. And we have Bina understanding uh, which is uh, Yahava or, or Yahawa Elohim and Elohim is uh, basically um, God male and female it's a it's a it's a plural name the Yod and Mim at the end of Elohim which is the Yod something like this something like a comma in the Mim I forgot how to do the mem. It's something kind of something like this. Oh, that's way worse. But anyways, um. The im part is plural, so you got elo, el, elo, im, plural. You got God plural. So, um, but this is a little bit more recent. Why I'm bringing this up because if if you look in the uh, Aramaic, um, there is no Elohim. It's uh, elaha. It's Allah. So it will be interesting to see um, what makes something plural in Aramaic if it's still uh, Eam. If that still makes something plural, is Eam still making something plural? There was no Elohim, it was Eloha. Elaha. 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 Which sounds a lot like Allah. Elaha. But. Um, as time progresses, we see that Elohim somehow becomes plural. But that's another conversation. So, Bina, Yahavah, Elohim, um, an energy or form that channels information and compartmentalizes it. The sphere of aspiration is Shabbatai, and it gives forms to chaotic matter. And this is also uh, the planet Saturn. Um, the archangel here is Sach, Sach, Sachfiel. I think I said that wrong which is the prince of the spiritual strife against evil. And the order of angels is also called Eralim, the strong and mighty ones, right? So now let's go to Chesed, Chesed, which is mercy. It's Chesed, Chesed, I'm sorry about that, Chesed, Chesed, uh, begins with the letter Chet, which is this letter here. And um, you will see it in the English, they, they um, it's like, what this word here is Ruach, Ruach, which means air or spirit. But in English, they show the Chet, which is this here. They show the Chet. Is a ch, but it's not pronounced ch. It's actually pronounced <laughs> kind of a throat sound. So me being so so much of an amateur, you know, with this language, you know, you gotta, you know, everything it comes with time. You know, perfection comes with time. So um, Chesed. 
Um, it's L, what I showed y'all earlier, um, which means God. It's another word for God. It's various words uh, for God in, um, in the Hebrew. But this is L, Aleph Lamed. And mercy uh, express form of wisdom and understanding. Chesed relates to accumulation of good deeds or effort in which state is forgiveness and giving and is considered one of the finest virtues one can attain. So this is also the sphere of Jupiter. So we got Gebura, which is severity, which is also Elohim Gebor, um, which deals with victories after trials and tribulations. And this fear of influence, um, nothing comes easy. The beauty of Tipereth Gebor develops and becomes proud. Okay, I thought I lost my spot. Okay, and becomes proud. Pride can become arrogance. A fine line is drawn between arrogance and discipline um, in this fear. Operation is Madim, which is Madim is a violent Russian force and it brings fortitude and war and strength and slaughter. The flaming sword of avenging God. The sphere of action is Mars. Archangel Kamiel, which is the prince of strength, courage. The order of angels is Sephirim, the flaming ones. Also called order of powers. So now we have Tipereth which is Yahweh or Yahweh Eloah Va Da It is directly related to the emanations of Kether that bind it to the harmonizing those of Geburah and Chesed achieving perfection direct link with God head in Kether so Tepereth has a direct connection with Ketcher, which is this here. Placed directly under Ketcher through the path of Gimel. Gimel is, Gimel is just nothing more than um, the sound G in the Hebrew alphabet, and which also means camel, but Gimel is just a letter of the Hebrew alphabet. The Sephiroth also has 32 paths, um, which deals with um, the 10 Sephiroths along with the 22 letters of the alphabet. Each path has a letter. So, um, placed directly, directly under Ke uh, Kether through the path of Gimel, it reflects the glory of Kether. Sphere of Operation, Shemesh which is the solar light, brilliant, brilliant, brilliancy, sphere of rule is the sun, the archangel is Melakim, Melakim, which means kings, Melak is king, and you, we hear the I am, which is plural, so that's kings, Melakim, or angels, kings, rules the mineral world. Right. So we got. So we got. Nesach, which is victory. Which is Yahava. Zabot, which deals with the seven archons. To know about the archons, you gotta be um, a little familiar with. Um, the Gnostic, the Gnostic, uh, the Gnostic, Gnostic texts, where they talk about the Archons. Um, 
who created the universe. Nizakh takes the beauty of Tipperith and distributes it towards and desire in. Tipperith is now channeled into a format that can that can control it. It is transformed into Nizakh. The tremendous amount of energy it has now focused that is where the victory comes in. The operation, sphere of operation is Naga or Noga, um, which is external splendor, zeal, love, harmony, and uh, the planet here is Venus and deals with the vegetable, vegetable world. Angel is Haniel, Prince of Love and Harmony. The order of angels here is the Elohim, the principalities, right? So now we got Hod, 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 which is Splendor, and Elohim Saboth. This is the divine energy that victory is converted into, into the pomp and glory that creates splendor. Splendor is the victory celebration after the battle uh, celebration is over. Hard takes celebration to extremity and it becomes an issue. Sphere of operation is called Chakab, uh, which is stellar light. Elegance, swiftness, scientific knowledge, and art, consistency of speech. The planet here is Mercury, Archangel Machiel, which is the Prince of Splendor and Wisdom. Um, the Order of Angels is, is Bini, Bini, Elohim, which Bini, I believe, is Sun or sons, um, Elohim is God's or God, so it's just son of God. So we got Yesod, which is foundation, and the name here is Shaddai El Chai, the building blocks uh, for further developments, like a fetus in a womb, fully formed but not yet fully grown to maturity. Splendor of Hod is now formed. The building blocks for a new beginning. Kether influences Tipperith, has pushed its rays down the central pillar to stabilize celebration of Hod into something concrete and lasting, not momentary, not a momentary high. The operation. Le Leva Levana, the lunar being, bestowing change. The planet here is the moon, and the archangel is Gabriel, the prince of change. So now we have Melkuth, which is kingdom, Adunai Haaretz. Adunai means it means Lord. Ha is the Aretz is earth. Or Ha is maybe of. So it's maybe Lord of the Earth. Uh Adunai Ha Aretz. Um cosmic cycle has been completed. Stabilization of matter through the influence of the spirit and Keter. Melkuth, a reflection of Keter in the deeper form. Sphere of operation, Nefesh Ha Misa. The soul reconciler for the earth. The order of angels, Hashim. No order of operation, Hashim. Hashim, which is the flames. So that's just a deeper aspect of the Sephiroth, right? Um, so another aspect we can go to is uh, the four worlds of creation, right? 
So in the four worlds of creation, we have absolute, which deals with um, the ain't soft, the no thing. Then we got Baraya, which deals with uh, nothing to something. Then Yetzirah, which deals with something to something. Then we got Asaya with uh, form creation. So these four worlds also aligns with the uh, with the Sephira, with the tree of life, and um, so absolute um, would be I believe the crown understanding and wisdom and um, Bria will be um, severity mercy mer uh, mercy and beauty and Yetzira will be uh, Splendor, Victory, and Foundation, and Melkuth will be a Saya. And um, Nefesh, Ruach, and Nashima is the three aspects of the soul. Um, Nefesh is the lowest aspect of the soul, um, which uh, basically pertains to the etheric body. Um, which is uh, basically um, the astral body, which uh, people believe that, um, like when a person goes to sleep, that uh, a part of the a part of the spirit or part of their soul actually travels through the ethers, and um, which is kind of similar to. Uh, if you're familiar with ancient Egypt, the Ka and the Ba, um, which I think it was the Ka that was like an etheric double, uh, the person or the human being. Um, and, you know, in certain situations, they would give offerings to the Ka or, or etheric double if, if a person passed away or something like that and they seen the image of the person that would be considered the person's ka. It's a their devil. It's like it's ghosts, the ghost of the person. Um, then you have Ruach, which is a higher aspect of the soul, um, which pertains to basically the mental body. And the mental body um, and Ruach basically is, which is air also, and this is um, this basically Ruah basically distributes information um, from the lower to the higher, right? Because it's in the middle. You know, you got the lower aspect of the soul, and you got Nash, uh, Nashima, which is the higher aspect of the soul. So Ruah, he kind of um, delivers the information. That's the aspect of the soul that kind of is the connecting point. Um, that makes everything uh, coherently works. And Nashima is the higher aspect of the soul, which deals with um, the higher self. Um, if you study Kabbalah, you will also see, um, well, if you study, if you study Kabbalah, which is just means tradition and it's uh, different, um, forms of literature that that's available to you if you if you want to study it um, and one book um, is the uh, Sefer Yetzirah and in the Sefer Yetzirah they talk about uh, basically you get familiar with the um, with the Hebrew letters um, and you find out and you find out that the uh, Hebrew letters um, they all have a meaning, um, an esoteric meaning. They all have a name. 
Um, and um, and they all have a numerical value. But um, but I, what I wanted to show you about the Hebrew letters today is that it's three mothers, seven doubles, and twelve elementals. And it's 231 gates. And the 231 gates, it's a meditation. Uh, it's a meditation exercise uh, where a person would meditate and he would or she would um, take each letter and take that letter. You start with like Aleph and you would say Aleph the letter or the sound of that letter with each letter in the alphabet so you would go down you would say Abba uh, Ad um, A, A, Ab you would just go down and, and match that letter with each letter and then you would do every letter and doing that with every letter it is uh, it would take you 231 times it's 231 gates and this is supposed to unlock um, higher channels inside of your mind. I told y'all before that this is nothing but um, um, the universe personified as a man and which is the bigger man and it's personified as us which is the smaller man. Um, right? So this and us we are uh, the Yah, Yahaba, or uh, or the uh, Yahawa, which is the Yo Hey Vav Hey. Um, we are that. I'm a, uh, just put it up again real quick. Yo Hey. So, um, Yahaba or Yahawa, uh, he's the jealous God, right? He's the jealous God, the angry, jealous God. Um, and that's who we are. But once we transform ourselves and uh, attain our higher self, and um, like uh, aligning your chakras. Um, gaining Christ consciousness, basically, what they call Christ consciousness, um, or becoming uh, en en enlightened, enlightened, right? Um, we we will become um, where can I put that? We we will become. I'm gonna put it right under it. We will become. We become Yah Yahshua. We will no longer be Yahaba. We will become Yahshua. We will have the fire. Um, and the shin is. Sure, I'm writing this right. So we see that Yahshua is no more than no more than Yahweh or Yahava with the Shin right in the middle, which is fire. Right, Shin has the fire element. Right, so we no longer once we you know become enlightened once we. Uh, obtain our higher self we no longer is the jealous angry God we are Yahshua we are Yahshua right and become Christ consciousness so that's one thing that I forgot to um, to show y'all I wanted to show y'all right and um, um, 
So uh, that's basically it. Um, I didn't want to uh, be too long. It's kind of late at night. I just wanted to stop through and uh, bring some information um, about the Sephiroth, the Tree of Life, and about the Kabbalah. Um, I'll be back at y'all again. Until then, peace. I'm the same rapping ass nigga from the back of the days. A lot of niggas switched up, so we had up our ways. I'm just trying to catch my cut in the caddy with pain. I mean, the flow was kind of nuts. Get the rapping insane. I mean, you probably would too. If you felt this pain, I got the heart of a lion. I mean, my chest made of iron.